all and welcome back to High Speed Touring. Right, today we're going to be fitting some parts from Easy Grip. Uh, now they make stuff like protective film for the front of the bike which you're going to be putting on, stopping any stone chips and things like that. And also they make the grips for your knees to go on the tank. Um, so A, it gives you more grip when you're cornering, you can put your knee on the uh, grip pad and also braking, accelerating, but also protects the tank from any scratches from your knees. Okay, this time I managed to find the box that was on the top. Okay, we're going to open it up and see what we've got. Packing. Okay, we have BMW S1000RR Easy Grip for the tank. So that's going to go in the tank. This one is the same thing, but it's for the Jixxer 750. And this is going to be the protection film, which we're going to fit to the front of the bike. Okay, let's open the protection film, see what we've got inside. Just be very careful with this one. Okay, inside there we have another tube, which is uh, the Easy Guard Stone Chip Protect. So let's see what we've got inside. Have a bottle with a, a, a small amount of what looks like sort of soapy solution, a squeegee, I presume that's the film, some cleansing wipes, and a full layout diagram of all the pieces that are going to go on the bike. Right, I've got the plan, I've laid out the sheet. I don't know if you can see on this sheet that they're actually, the sheet is actually pre-cut into the pieces and they're laid out as per the diagram. So all we've got to do is find number one and then on this one here, it tells you where number one goes and that's on the front of the fender. So that's going to be the first part. I filled the bottle up with water as suggested. It says in the instructions that the spray bottle contains a small amount of concentrated lubricant. It smells like soap to me, but okay. Um, so the first thing to do is wipe the area that you want to treat with a wipe, spray this on, and then peel the part off, stick it on the area that you've just sprayed, and you'll be able to move it around to get it perfectly lined up. And then we need to squeegee the water out from underneath it. So let's have a go. Okay, so I've got the solution. We're just going to spray it on the area generously that needs to be covered. And then we're going to peel off the sheet that we're going to fit. We're also going to spray the sheet or we lay it on. Lay the sheet on. degreasing on the fingers and then we should be able to slide it into place right once you finish squeegeeing it off it says dry it off, make sure you get off any excess water. And then it says use a, a hair dryer or a heat gun. Well, so I've got a hair dryer. No, it's not mine. Luckily, I've got a wife and uh, she has hair. So I'm going to use it on here. And it says just use it out with a hair dryer. Once you've dried it, it should look like that. Shouldn't really be able to see any film at all. Looking good. Okay, so that's the front fender finished. I don't even know if you can see the film on there. But it is there. So we're doing quite well so far. We've done the left hand side. Now we're going to move on to the right hand side. It's really hard to see the film unless you look really closely. 
So we've done the little bit up here so far. Now I'm going to do this big piece here over the line. So first of all, squirt it quite liberally. I've already cleaned it with contact cleaner and a wipe. It's nice and wet. I'm going to put some on my fingers and we're going to get the, uh, the piece. It also helps if you thoroughly wet the piece that you're going to get. Now, just lay the film loosely about where you want it, roughly. So we're going to go up about there. And then you can move it around slightly if it's wet enough underneath. If it's not wet, just peel it off a bit more, spray some more liquid on it, and you should be able, as you can see, you can move the film around over the surface. So what we're trying to do now is line up all the edges. This is probably the most time consuming bit. We need to get make sure that all of these edges, there's no overhangs. You don't want any overhang on any of these bits. So again, this bit's got a bit tight, so we're going to just peel it back a little bit, get the spray, give it a little spray under here, which sure was nice and wet, spray that as well, and then lay it back down, and then we should be able to slide into place. There we go. So as we look round here, we need to make sure that the line is perfectly in line with the edge. If it's overhanging anywhere, then we need to move it in the other direction. So the easiest way to do it is just try and slide the piece over the paintwork. It should slide slightly. So this end is looking quite good here. It's, it's nicely in line here. This is a bit oh, it's just on the edge. So what we're going to try and do is, from the top, we're going to peel it away a little bit. Spray some spray underneath, the spray will run down and then hopefully we'll be able to just slide it across like that. And now when we tuck this edge down, we get it as near to the edge as we can. So that's looking quite nice. There we are. Yeah, and then when you're happy with it, when you think that's, uh, if you get it, just about where you want it, that's the sort of time to start pressing down on it, getting some of the bubbles out, getting some of the liquid out. You can see the bubbles underneath, try and push them towards the edge, just roughly, and then just check the edges, make sure there's no overhangs. First thing to do is spray over the top, and then we can start using the squeegee from the centre, trying to get all the bubbles out to the edge. A bit like fitting a phone screen, really, if you haven't done that very similar, similar idea, just get all the air, the water and the bubbles out, take your time on this bit, it's really important that we get all of the bubbles out, push them down, get them out, and go up from the centre the other way. And if you didn't really know, on the s r or the M Sport, the bike is actually white, and the colours are stickers, and literally they are stuck on, and you can see the edges of the stickers. So when we put this film on, it actually covers the whole lot, so you won't actually get the, you won't be able to see so much the line of the sticker, hopefully. You also make sure your decal stay nice, neat. And this stuff's really easy to peel off. If you don't want it on there anymore, pick the corner, just peel it off, it'll come off. Sometimes you get a couple of these little ones to form on the edges, no problem. Just keep working and eventually they'll stick. Um, as the water comes out from underneath. Just using an e cloth, just push out from the middle to the edges, and that way, when the water comes out, any excess liquid on the edges, it gets dried up, and you can see now that that's gone. So the water's come out onto this, and the, uh, the film is stuck down there. The other thing I've noticed is because of the decals that are on this bike, the join between the paintwork and the actual decal that's stuck on the top you actually get a couple of little bubbles in there, so it's worth just running your finger down the line and making sure the bubbles are out. And there we go, that's the last piece done. So we've done the main part here, as you can see it's fitted really nicely. I doubt you can, I mean you can hardly see the line there maybe, just on the edge. But actually as you step back a bit, you can't even notice there's film all over the front now. Okay, so we're just doing this piece here now on the rear tail. So I've got my piece ready to go, I'm going to put it into position, slide it to where we want it, line it up, just like that, just about there, 
you need to move some of the air with bubbles underneath with your finger make sure it's all in line that looks good and then we get the squeegee it's wet on the outside and all we're going to do is just squeegee the air bubbles out from underneath it worked quite as well just on this bit up here you wouldn't even know that it's got film in it but uh, that's great because when you get on and off the bike it often gets scuffed with your feet um, especially if you just catch it and then the film is going to protect your paintwork and your decals on there as well. Get yourself an e-cloth, just wipe it off from the centre to the edges. Pushing down just in case there's any other air trapped in anything out there. And there we go, that bit's fitted. So once all the panels are in place, um, they're all dried off and you've wiped away any of the watermarks. You've got to use a hairdryer to heat them up and make sure the glue sticks. The next thing to fit is the easy grip tank grips. So start by heating the tank with the hairdryer, heat the grip as well. Find which way they go on so they should fit to the contour. And the you have to apply pressure in order for the adhesive to stick. So the best thing to do is use a car going between the bubbles, slow leave the uh, plastic film on the back, slowly peel it back and as you peel it back just work your way across trying to get out all the little air bubbles make sure that the all of the um, adhesive is sticking underneath otherwise you can actually see where, where it's uh, not sticking just work it all the way along until you get to the other end another time consuming process but uh, worth it yeah. okay so there we go one fitted easy grip for the tank so hopefully now that'll be good for uh, putting your knees on and getting some grip off that it's really sticky what I suggested the easy way to do is use the plastic put it over the top and then you can actually run your fingers over without pulling all your skin off and get all the little last bits make sure there's nothing else no bubbles and all the adhesive is stuck Okay, there we go. The first side is finished, and now I've just got to do the other side. So now the easy grip tank install is done. I'm going to add this to the centre of the tank. It's a carbon fibre tank protector. Uh, I get them on eBay. They're really good quality. I had one on my last bike. It lasted the whole time it was on there. Never came off. Never tarnished. Really good quality. I think they're like six quid delivered. Just worth the money. Have a look on eBay, and uh, yeah, it just fits up the centre of the tank on the spine and just pre prevents when you're sitting on the bike any rubbing on your tank especially with this paint because BMW paint is pretty thin and there's not a lot of lacquer on it and already I've got a couple of little marks where I just rode it home from the uh, from the garage on the first day okay so that's all of the easy guard installed on the carbon fiber front fender up on the front of the bike sides around the mirror I don't know if you just see the lines potentially maybe not you wouldn't know there was a film on there really that stone chip protection all over the front of the bike and also on the rear and then we've got the easy to easy grip tank install which was finished so nice grip carbon fiber tank pad and also the rear of the bike also has the film all over it both on the top and under on the underneath section of the white painted section of the uh, fairing you've got this film well I hope you found the uh, video useful if you did please hit the uh, like and subscribe buttons below if you've got any comments or if you've got any questions please feel free to contact me at any point and uh, don't forget to head over to highspeedtouring.com if you want any of the easy grip parts um, please let me know and i can get a very good discount on them just get in contact with me let me know what you want and i'll sort you out with an order thanks for watching cheers bye